Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I just want to uh, thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to speak here with you uh, today. I uh, have always said that we can fix what those things that are wrong with Lansing by those things that are right with Lansing. And I always want to say that uh, those things that are right with Lansing are those things that are going on right here at New Mount Calvary. You've been a staple in this community so many years. I just want to thank you and give, give yourself a round of applause because I think it's been a great inspiration to this city. I'd like to thank the church and, uh, and Ray Potter for giving me this opportunity to speak a few minutes with my fellow Christians. Um, specifically, I want to speak on the subject of faith, which I feel is the very foundation of Christianity. I'm running for mayor because I have faith in Lansing, faith in its people, faith in its potential to grow, faith in its ability to overcome the economic troubles of the moment, faith in its schools, and faith in its future. See, as a Christian man, I know that there's a God, and that he sent his only begotten son to live amongst us, and then to die on the cross, so that we who believe we who have faith could have life everlasting. See, it's written in the fifth chapter of 2 Corinthians that we know that if this earthly tent that we live in is destroyed, that we have a building from God, an earthly house that was not built by human hands. See, so without the question, my friends, we live by faith and not by sight. So in a very real way, that describes my candidacy for mayor. I have faith in my ability to provide the leadership which I feel is lacking right now in City Hall. I believe that I have been prepared to take this city to new heights by virtue of a lifetime of listening, learning, and serving right here in Lansing. See, I'm a graduate of Lansing Public Schools, K-12. Main Street Elementary School. How do you remember Main Street Elementary School? I don't want you to raise your hands too high because everybody knows this. It's been around for a long time. No, but she was proud. She was proud. And I'm glad to see you here. Pat Gale Junior High School, and also I'm a proud graduate of J.W. Sexton High School. I graduated from Lansing Community College. I have a bachelor's degree from Northwood University in Business Administration. I have a master's degree in labor and industrial relations from Michigan State University as well. And also, I graduated as the most distinguished graduating senior from Thomas and Cooley Law School. And I just want to say that there was 101 graduates in that class, and I was the only African-American male that graduated that year. I spent over 30 years working with the Michigan Department of Transportation, but most of that time I spent as an executive also, I have over 20 years, and this year, June 9th, marked my 20th year as a practicing attorney here in the state of Michigan. I also was the first African American to win a vote for one Lansing City Council seat in 1989. And also, I served on the Lansing School Board, in which I thank a lot of you because I know this church has been very supportive of me as I've gone on the campaign trail. So I was elected in 2007, and I presently serve on the Lansing School and one of the things I, I am proud of, a number of you who know me, they know me back when I was going to Sexton, they know me as Charlie Moore. I played on the basketball team, the football team, and, and on the track team. I was inducted in the Greater Lansing Sports Hall of Fame in 1997, where I shared that distinction with Magic Johnson and Jay and Sam Vincent. See, the reason I talk to you about my accomplishments is because there are those who will try to diminish my candidacy who have little faith in my ability to be the two city officials that I'm running against. They try to minimize my bid by talking about conventional wisdom. But I, for one, do not believe that conventional wisdom is always wise and that it's always right. See, because it was conventional wisdom that a young, black, junior state, United States senator could not be elected President of the United States. Well, we know how the story of candidate Barack Obama ended. 
More than five decades ago, it was conventional wisdom that a young preacher could not lead a movement that would end second-class citizenship for black people in America. What we know what Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King achieved. See, my friends, it is those beliefs and things unseen that took Moses to the top of Mount Sinai, that led escaped slaves along the Underground Railroad, that had Edison led him to create the light bulb, that led Barry Gordy in the last few weeks has been very important, that led Barry Gordy to create the Motown sound. See, my friends, I'm not standing before you today hoping to become the first black mayor of Lansing. See, I have faith that I can become the best mayor that this city has ever had. So, dear friends, I ask you for your prayers, I ask you for your faith, and I ask you for your support. Thank you and God bless.